Those of you with the wit, good sense and good fortune to play me at this game at Rockercon this year may have experienced the phenomenon of counter-attacking because it's basically my favourite thing to do. So, it models a situation where as my opponent attacks me, I can, with a single motion, i.e. a single card, defend and strike. Okay? So, if we revealed our cards, our, our guards, pardon, and Rami strikes at me with an eligible strike, in this case, a matter of an enemy. And I notice, to my great delight, that his card has on it the counter-attack symbol. Here. Okay? And I have a speed advantage. Therefore, I can play a Mandela Fenente, which is the same row, as a counterattack. And I say, I am counterattacking at you, sir. It's a shame on you if you bear it. Yes? In this case, his only solution is to change the path of his blow. Yeah? So as he attacked Mandela and I counterattack the Mandela Fenente, the only thing he can do is convert his Mandela Fendente into a pack. Yeah? And we modeled this in the cards by having him play another Mandela Fendente. It has to be the same card. Go ahead. Should I have any? If you have any. Yes, luckily. Like and a good thing we stacked the deck. Okay. This operates exactly the same as any other parry. So in this case, um, we notice that his Mandela Fendente has not my sword aside. We're on this side. He can now strike at me with a reversal Fendente or some reversal strike. Okay. If he didn't have that card, the fight would be over. Okay. Counterattack. Best thing. Thank you for watching.